Today I'm going to show you how to make a respirator mask using a 3D printer. Easy. So I went to YouTube search 3D printer mask to see if any idea I can use as reference and I found this video with the YouTube name called the 3D Handyman. He's making a functional respirator mask with a nice and clean design but the most important thing is the 3D model are free to download for everyone. Yeah, boy. So let's head to the studio and then start customizing. First, download the file and then open it with the Cura Slicer software. But when I tried to print it, I found out the model is kinda too big for my face. So I had to do some scaling adjustment to make the mask fit my face. To do that, I will be using Cinema 4D to do the customization. First, I will scale all the size about 10% smaller to fit my face. Second, I will make a front grille to protect the mask filter, but I have no idea what to design for the front grille. So I went to Pinterest and searched for some inspiration. But then, I saw this post appear on the search result. Mm -hmm. After spending 2 days on this 3D model, I finally finished the customization. So let's start the printing now. First, I will use the white PLA filament to print the mask, filter cap, mold, and the strap lock. The front grill, I will use black PLA filament. While this part is printing, there are some material we need to be prepared as well. The mask filter, elastic band, magnet, screw and nuts. Basically, you can find this thing from online and hardware store. But about the mask filter, I'm using PM2.5 mask filter. It has 5 layers to protect you from air smoke, virus, bacteria, and other tiny particles. But according to the research that I made, PM2.5 mask filter couldn't completely protect you from COVID-19, but it can lower the chances of you getting infected or infecting the others. So as you can see, it has better protection than normal disposable mask. Okay. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, now all the parts is finished printing. So now let's make it into fully functional mask. First, make a silicone seals. Since the 3D handyman is using food grade silicone cork to make those seals, and I decided to use my silicone rubber to do it as well. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. Now the seal is done, all we need to do is let the rubber dry. spending hours on making the mask is finally done and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And now, it's my time.